Hey done folks, Joe Rain here. This is going to be an updated tutorial for the current version of the item editor tool by Digital Marine. What we're first going to want to do is get the tool itself. Next up we're going to go here and get the memory depth tool by Sunbeam. This is extremely important. So it's on the first page in the first post. Just have to scroll down a little bit to get to there. So we're still in the first post and here it is here. So these these two lines are what we need. We're going to download it and we're going to copy this password here. So it doesn't matter where you put these files. So in the console dumper we're going to want this Borderlands DLL. So I'm just going to move this into the same folder as the editor just for convenience. Um, this tooltip pointer here. This is what we're going to use to find the actual items themselves in memory value so we can edit them. The editor is what we're going to be using to edit the items and the DLL is the thing that creates the dump file that will allow us to talk to the editor with, or allow the editor to talk to the game to actually edit the items. Um, Alright, so make sure you get into the game first before you start opening or doing anything. Games open, go back to here, and open the tooltip pointer CT. I'm going to attach it, and then we're going to turn this on. The next thing we're going to do is click memory view, tools, inject DLL, and you're going to navigate to wherever you Put your um, DLL file. Next thing we're going to do is open the memory editor. Get rid of that. We have cheat engine here, so we're going to find an item now. Let's say this grenade here. All right. So this is what we want to find. So this grenade. You can see if we go over the transformer shield, this value changes. Go back over the grenade. So this is the one that we want, and we're going to paste this into the memory editor. Great. Now, if you receive an error here saying um, did you forget to inject the DLL then you either injected the DLL at the main menu or you haven't actually injected the DLL. Um, alternatively if you are able to load up some items and some items it's giving you that error for some reason like that means it's your antivirus that's causing the issues and you need to whitelist this program through your antivirus so that your antivirus does not block this program otherwise you may run into issues with some items it's just the way that it goes so uh, if you're doing any editing whitelist through whitelist this through your antivirus all right so now that we have this open we can change these items so let's let's have a look at the item itself here so it's a hex merv mini merv so let's say we wanted to change that to whatever let's just go double merv okay or let's add firestorm actually why not let's add a firestorm sure so you see here in the middle seven components zero changes because we've removed one and we've added one now as long as you make zero or minus one or you know a negative amount of changes um, writing to memory is fine if you want to be adding more components to this list to make it you know like a, a beefier item or something um, then we'll go through that in a second. But for now, we've made our changes, and what we'll do is just hit right to memory. Now you this is new in the new one. So this is telling you um, basically how to not fuck it up. So what this is saying is go into here. As you can see here, push escape. If prompted to update the game, select no. All right. Click quick game do not quit. So we hit quick game and we do not quit. We write the changes, exit to desktop, relaunch the game. Okay. 
I know we don't need to exit the desktop if we're only making the same number or less changes. We only need to exit the desktop if we're actually increasing the amount of components on the item. So we're going to hit continue now, and now it has written, so we can go back to the main menu. Now, all going well, we get back in and the item has changed. Now, if you get back in and the item has disappeared, all that simply means is you made a change that is incompatible with that item. You've put something on there, uh, or multiple things that just don't gel well together on that item, and that's the only reason it's disappeared. So, we'll go back to here, grab this value, so, yes, go back to the editor, see here how the change, the values have changed. So make sure you're always getting the new values. Every time you go back to the menu or open the game, the values will change. Now we load it up and you can see it's exactly how we left it. All right, so the next step will be to add components. So let's say we wanted to add another Merv, uh, maybe some singularity. Um, let's go for once. Let's check a butt stallion on there as well, and maybe a fastball. Okay, so now we have 11 components on there with four changes. So this is when we do need to make sure that we quit to desktop, okay? Because it will not save the changes if it crashes. Um, so what we need to do now is we get right, right to memory. We get this uh, little pop-up again, hit yes, and now we quit to desktop. Going to open the game back up. Now, previous versions of the editor, you did not have, to, uh, you had to reopen the editor every time you reopen the game. But as you can see here, he has updated that, so it says looking for process, and it will refine the game when you open it. So now that Borderlands is loading, we can reattach this, but we're not going to inject it just yet with the DLL. We're just going to reattach Cheat Engine to it. Wait, wait till we get into the game before we inject the DLL because whenever you inject the DLL, that's when it updates the dump file, which gives the actual addresses of the items. And if you're in the main menu and then go into the game, those are going to change. All right, so we go back in. All right. Now that we're in the game, we can have a look at that item. And as you can see here, there's a lot more stuff on it. So go back to Cheat Engine and inject now that we're in. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay, let's bring this item up. Great. You can see here, all the changes were saved, even though we added four or five components. The next step will be to add an anointment, if you choose to add an, an anointment. So what we need to do is find an item with an anointment. Anyone will do, doesn't matter what it is. Okay. And you're going to have whatever item you're putting the anointment on, so let's say this grenade, whatever one, you load that in here like normal as if you're editing it, because we are editing it. The next step we're going to do is hit dupe anointment, and then we're going to ask us to find the address for the item with the anointment that we're going to copy. So we're going to use this one here and click this. Now again, if this returns zeros, just go back to the cheat engine and use the cheat engine one, okay? That's all you have to do. Recap. All right, so done writing to memory. Exit to desktop now. I should have had it ready to exit the desktop um, because uh, the dupe anointment does not give you that warning to remind you. Um, but once you get a bit more experienced with it and you, you are not slow, um, then there shouldn't be any issue with it anyway. But while you're learning, just make sure you follow the steps and um, do it safely. You want to minimize the risk of failure. All right, well, we're going to reattach this process. Wait till we get back into the game. OK, 
Right. Right, now that we're back into the game, open the inventory and you can see this now has an anointment on it. Now if you want to add multiple anointments, it's the same process as the component part. So we're going to inject again now that we're back into the game. Yes. Tooltip pointer. Okay, we want this grenade. Copy. And editor. Now you'll see here it says edit anointment, which was grayed out before because we didn't have one on there, but now we do. So now you can freely change this. So if we want to add the grenade one, so this one here, like on skill end, add one grenade, we can just remove the old one, add this one, get right to memory, and just go back to menu simply because uh, we didn't change the amount of things on there, or at least we didn't add any more, so we don't have to go to desktop. Let's go back to menu, menu new. Right. And you can see here now on action skill start regenerates one grenade. Now let's say we want to put more on there. So just be aware that the anointments on the same item will not stack. However, if you were to put this on multiple items, they would stack. Um, but putting the same one on the same item does not stack. Okay, so we're going to add these five. So now what we're going to do is get this ready again because we're going to be quitting to desktop this time because we're making positive changes. Um, and then we're going to hit yes, okay, and then quit to desktop. Okay, reattach the process. Great. You only need to do this if you're going to do any further editing. If you're not going to do any further editing, then you don't need. To do this so if you just want to if you're finished editing and you come back in and just wanted to look at the item or keep playing you don't have to reattach everything because you only need to do that if you want to actually make any edits um, but i will be making edits after this so plus i need to be able to show the full list in a moment all right so let's have a look here now um this does not look like it's saved so <clears throat> we're going to re-inject it, it, it may have, it may not. It doesn't look like it did. Right, so find this again. Great, yes. All right, let's see how many anointments. So it's only got one anointment, so it did not save for some reason. And I did notice that it did not give us actually a crash warning when, when we uh, crashed before. So it didn't actually crash. All right, so we're gonna add these on, yes. Get right to memory, yes, Oops. and quit to desktop. Let's see how this went. Hey, okay, so it did save. So that just shows um, that it was all that happened was I was a bit slow to hit quit to desktop on the first time, so we didn't actually force crash the game, and the game crashed before we could do that. So, again. Just make sure that you <laughs> follow the instructions. Uh, the best of us fuck up. All right, so um, I think that's all we need to really cover. Um, I'd be editing. Um, actually, one more thing. The spreadsheet here. So this is how you can find the items. Um, or weapons and things like that. So if we bring up a weapon, okay, let's bring up this weapon here. Inject. We didn't rehook it, did we? Okay, so let's bring up this weapon. All right, back to the memory editor. So this is going to bring up the list. 
So if we want to find some things to change, then we go, this is a dial pistol. So we go pistols and then we go dial, click on this and then we'll hover over it and then click on this and this is going to take us to the dial page. Um, never remove anything that says do not remove, obviously, that's pretty self-explanatory, but it's it's pretty much just the body, the one that says body. So if you click on something else that says A, B or C, that's fine, but body do not remove. All right. So, for instance, if we wanted to maybe increase the damage on this gun, um, we would find something that increases the damage, like this 02A barrel or the 02B barrel. And then we go here, just type 02. Great. So we take, we add that. And because we're adding components, we would have to quit to the desktop if you didn't want to do that simply do something like remove the magazine. Removing the magazine will actually give you infinite ammo, so it's a good trade. 10% more damage and infinite ammo. Easy. We're going to hit right to memory. Yes. Now this one, because we're not changing the amount of things, we can just go back to the main menu. Great. And as you can see here, the magazine size now is zero, and the damage has gone up. All right, folks. Um, hope that's been helpful. If you have any issues, make sure you go back and rewatch the video because it's all explained in here. Um, I will not provide support in the comments or anywhere else. It's all the information you need is in the video. So make sure that you pay attention. All right, happy editing. Don't be a douche.